Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. And I haven't made a video for quite a while because I've been live streaming Farm Sim. But I'm going to be gone. So when you see this, I'll already be gone for the summer. Well, for a week anyway. Maybe longer than a week, but I'm hoping just a week. It just depends. Um, I don't want to do a lot of traveling this summer because of, well, you all know why. Uh, but uh, it's better just to stay home. But we're going to get away and get a little sunshine, at least for a week. Uh, but uh, this is a Shamrock Valley Farm. It's a new farm for me. It was suggested to me by a person that actually lives in Ireland. And uh, when you first spawn, you spawn in the farmhouse. And it looks pretty cozy. So I'm going to play this for uh, today and Thursday. And this is kind of cool. The window opens up. You get a little fresh air in the farm room. In the bat in the master bedroom. This is a restroom. Or a bathroom, as we call it in the US. Although you wouldn't call it that because there's no bath in it. <laughs> anyway, I'll take a quick tour of the house. I'm gonna leave the doors open because they're kinda hard to get in and out of. Oh, and the lights work pretty cool too. Whoa, bright. All right, so there's the uh, master bedroom. Here's a another bath, a guest room. We have a, an another room in here. Then there's an office space up here. And then we go downstairs, which is pretty damn dangerous. You can just step right off. There's no railing. Be careful. Here's a little living room office library we got a kitchen over here uh we got there was a room in there i think it's a bathroom i don't know if it opened oh it does open nope it's another room so you have adjoining rooms here and then of course we can pop out the door here and we'll be out on the farm got a little garden out front here kind of nice and as usual, it's a typical European farm where there's rock walls everywhere, little tiny roads. Um, it's just so closed in. I don't generally play too many of these because they're just too small for me. I can't get around. I can't get any equipment parked anywhere. You can't get through gates. It's just kind of... Uh... But this looks like a very nice map. So I think we're going to try it out, see what it's like. <clears throat> All the uh, barns have uh, working doors, which is kind of nice. Isn't that cool? Now, this is the main farmland. I have swapped out some equipment. That's my plow over there. So I've, I've got some modded equipment in here. Not too much. That's my truck over there. This is where the cattle go. <clears throat> so this is dairy. These gates don't open, so I don't know how to get in here. I've tried them all. This one is kind of open. I guess you just sneak your way in. I don't know. And so this is the dairy part, but we can't... I don't know. Let me see if I can get in here. Nope, I can't get in there. <clears throat> I don't know why I would need to. This is the milking area. This is the milk. I think you get your milk here somehow. And can we get through that? Nope, we can't get through that either. So the gates don't really work. This one does. That one does not. I thought this was a working gate, but it's not. Because it looks like a gate, but it doesn't open. This gate does open. I'll close it up for, for now. And that gate opens there. This is where your cattle roam. They got a very nice pasture here. And I did purchase some cattle. You don't get anything. Uh, you get some equipment and a piece of farmland or two. And $100,000. But I didn't stick with that. I wanted to get a good start. Since it's just going to be until I get back and get back to live streaming. So, um, 
I gave myself a good little start here. Let me put some speed boots on so I can run a little bit faster. But yeah, this is your cow pasture, and we have a couple hundred cows, I think, that I bought. So we got a couple hundred cows. Uh, I got sheep over there. Let's just double check what I've got. Okay, it looks like I've got a hundred sheep. I've got uh, 200 cattle of different varieties. Um, I've got a couple hundred chickens. I've got 100 pigs, and i got one of each horse. So, there you go. So, there's this is our pasture here. Across the road is another pasture for the sheep. This is ours as well. I have not given them anything to eat, or I think that they're being taken care of, but I'm not sure. So, I'll have to figure that out. And then we've got another little pasture over here, which I don't know what it's for. I think this is just a, a field that they have planted in grass. Whether I'm going to keep this field in grass or not, I'm not sure. I may plow this up and put some kind of crop in here. And then we've got another pasture over here. Again, it's just grass, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might keep one of these for grass. And plow the other one up, put crops in it. Okay, across the street here. We've got a field number two. This is ours again. It's in grass. This one definitely I'm going to plow into. Uh, you know what? I might keep this one as grass. Plow those other two into fields. Because this one, I don't, I don't know how much grass I'm going to need. And this one's a smaller field than the other two yeah that's what i'll do uh, this is the one field that you do get that's got crop on it right now there is some barley on it and we got a uh, combine of my choosing not the one that came with the map whoa and um and then there was another field number four down here i think is ours right here this is ours and again it is grass so we're gonna mow this stuff and then we will um, and this one is wheat now I bought all of these you didn't get all of these the only ones you did get were the ones up by the animals that were all grass and that one field of barley that's all you get when you start the map nice little playground there uh, the mod author as you can see, did a very, very good job of detail. It's pretty. It's just, just really pretty here. Some place for your kids to fall in and drown if they don't, uh, if they get away from you off the farm. Uh, we got um, the Gypsy High uh, Hill store. There is a place over there to buy your equipment. A fuel station here. The mod author did give you a nice flat spot up the hill here so that you could um, position some things. So I I put my, my uh, seeds and herbicide and fertilizers and such up here. Um, I put a silage making silo up here. I put our, uh, our animal mixing stations up here. And then I put a, uh, a storage up here for me and a cell point. So there you go. That's what we got up here. That's my tractor, my cedar, uh, the rest of the equipment's on the farm here. Now there are two farms or three farms. So this one has the cattle on it. If we look at the map again, There's another field, uh, another farm down there. You can see it on the map. That's not the best map. Let's go to let's go to uh, this map here. And it's easier to see. So this is your Shamrock Hills map up here, and that's got the cattle. Uh, let's see. I think you got these two fields here, and then I bought this one, 
and you get one and two, and I bought three and four. I think I bought three, four, and five, and maybe seven. I know you get one of these. This whole area right in here is all grass, and that's where your cattle are roaming. There's the hill for the placeables up there. This red border is where you can actually uh, uh, play. You cannot play off the border, so none of this is available. And so it's a very it's a very small map. There's a, a map. There is a forestry area right here. There's a sawmill, a manure cell point. There's a, a farm shop over here. We have a Shamrock Valley Farm, which we're on. There is a Scatterbrook Farm, and the Scatterbrook Farm is here, and that's where some of the other animals are. You got your pigs and your chickens here, and uh, cattle and sheep up here. So they're split up into two different farms. That's pretty much it. It's pretty, very pretty. You can actually take a boat ride as well. There's a, there's no train on here, but there is a boat. So there's that. Nice little harbor area. Isn't it pretty though? Mod Author did a good job. It's a very beautiful map. So let's get started. And as usual, every field has either hedges or brick walls around it. It's just, I don't know how in the hell they farm over here. It's just, <laughs> our farm area is completely open. You can just, it's just open land. This is terrible having to work around hedges and walls and stuff like that. But, oh well, we can do it. Now, th th here's the problem. You got you can't see your equipment because of the stupid trees and stuff. So I don't know what to do. I'll just kind of work it. Let's just go. We'll go with it. It's a beautiful map. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I have a forage wagon to pick up the straw. Got a little bit of money left. I don't know if I've got enough, but... We got some hills to contend with, so I hope I picked the right uh, combine to work these hills. The first thing I'm going to do after getting this barley off is uh, cut the grass on those fields that I want to plow up so that we've got the grass off of them. Basically, the grass is a crop, so... God, I hope I bought uh, GPS for this combine. I think I did. I'm trying to get away from those hedges and trees, so we're going to do a little bit of a circle around here. Put a headland around, at least two of them. So we got some room to work on this field. Because the farm is so small, I generally put the economics to hard, but I've got the economics set to easy so I can make a little bit more money. And and get a good start on the map. Okay, so now that we've got the headland done, let's set the GPS. So let's turn the GPS on. I think we need to drive. There's A. We'll get to B.
And let's see if that's got it now. Come up to the start here. We've got the right width set up. All right, now let's go back in here. We're gonna name it. Harvest 25 feet, 25 feet. Add that. Turn the GPS on. Wait a minute, did I turn it on? There, GPS is on. Start it up, let her fly. Nice straight lines. That's how we want it. Yeah, see these little fields like it's just impossible to turn anywhere. They're very scenic, I'll tell you that. They're very pretty, but it's not easy to farm. Might have been easier without the GPS. Just let it go. I don't know if I could have hired somebody or not. I could try it. I don't know how well it's going to work. Dang it. I just can't see through all those stupid trees. little over halfway through we'll be fine it'll be fine I haven't decided how I'm going to mow the grass. I've got that little lawnmower, but that's kind of cheating. But the other mower I've got is going to take forever. 
when all I really want to do is get the grass off of it so that I can plow it under. I might use the, the little lawnmower just to get the grass off of it. And then plow it under. It doesn't steer very easy, does it? Big piece of equipment, though. It wouldn't handle like a car. Necessarily. Alright. We're sliding trees and bushes and hedges and all kinds of stuff. I know they used to uh, on farms everywhere I guess not necessarily in America but if there were a lot of rocks on the land they would pick the rocks up as they were you know plowing the land they'd be, and it was a never-ending job of getting the rocks off the ground that you're trying to grow a crop on. And they would take the rocks, and what do you do with them? They would take them to the boundary, and they would make a rock wall. Or a rock fence. Because what are you going to do with all those rocks, you know? You're running a farm, you're not running a quarry. But it was one of those jobs that was kind of never ending. You're always digging rocks out of the land. If it was rocky to begin with. All right, there we go. Let's get this GPS turned off. We got one field done. I need to get to the other field. I don't think I, I have a... Um, Trailer. Do I have a trailer? Let's see. Header trailers. All right. Header trailers can transport headers safely on the road. But I don't know what size to get. So that's a 32. 32 what? That doesn't look big enough. I mean, that's not the biggest header in the world, but... Well... That one might work. Let's try it. I gotta find a tractor. How about that little one right there? Yeah, this one? Or this one? Let's use this one. That's our corn header. We need to move with it as well, but. Now, I'm using a mod that lets me put the equipment that I buy out in this field. I'm not quite sure normally where it would go. I think the shop is on the other end of the map. Now, when I said I didn't need all of those uh, fields for grass, the cow pasture's got a lot of grass on it. And I think I can mow it. And I'm not ever going to sell it because that's where the cattle are. So I can use that as my grass field and take the rest of the grass fields and turn... Oh, I missed my turn. And turn them into uh, regular fields. Crop fields, you know what I mean? 
Wrong turn. It's this road right here. Was that gate open? No. Alright, let me go open this gate. Alright, let me swing wide so I can get this trailer through. I don't want to get stuck halfway through. God darn it, I can't see. Alrighty. Let me swing it around. Like I said, I don't know if I've got a forage wagon. So i got to figure out how I'm going to pick up this straw. I could bale it. There is a baler. God, do I want to do that? You know I don't. I hate baling. No. Uh -oh. There is a hitch under here. I think I can use that, so I won't have to use the. Oh boy, is that gonna fit? Oh, this might not work. I might need a bigger trailer. Alright, let's see if I can drop that on there. But I want to see if this... I, I don't know if that tongue is long enough. That tongue might not be long enough. Um, let me try it. I want to try it. I don't want to have to use the tractor for this if I don't have to. So let me see if that combine will hook onto that trailer. I might have to get a bigger trailer. That one, I don't know if that's... If that trailer... Well, I guess it's okay. All right, let's see if I can hook this thing up or not. Wow, that's going to be tied around corners, isn't it? It might work. Oh, boy. It might. It might be okay. Maybe if I set the header a little bit further back. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. Oh man, I can't see. I missed a tree, I think. God, I have to go inside to be able to see. Yeah, I don't like this windshield. Got glare on it. I had a friend of mine went to Ireland one time for six or seven months. And when they came back, they came in and told me they were, we were talking, and they said, "My God, Rudy, if you've you've never seen the color green until you go to to uh, Ireland, it's so green there." So they told me. I do have another field over here, but I don't quite know how to get to it. There's the playground. Oh, that thing had an extra camera, camera on it. I don't know what that is. It's like a, a gypsy tent. Uh, a gypsy uh, wagon. Oh, I hope there's a way into the field up here. I'm going to be in a blind alley. Go, Combine, go. You can make it. I don't know if I can drive through that hedge or not. Is there a fence in there? Like a barbed wire fence? All right, here's a little bit of an area. Let's see if I can get in here. Made it.
Now I gotta get the trailer backed out. Well, the trailer worked okay. I think that, uh, I, th I think I had it set okay. I could try to set the header a little bit further backwards uh, to, the, to the rear end of the trailer and see if it works that way. It might give me a little bit more turning. I didn't seem to have any trouble turning it, but. I'm just gonna leave it right there. And we'll get in here. But before I do that, let me stop this, because I've gotta get a truck up. Oh, shoot. Is that in the way of the truck? I think I can drive over that hedge. Let's find out. See how tight this is? I mean, everywhere is tight. That's why I had to put all that stuff up on that hill. You couldn't, you can't put anything in the farm, you know, you can't turn anything around. It's just too tight. It's so small. I don't know how they do it. Oh, I took the wrong turn at Albuquerque. Oh, we've also got the sheep pasture that we can cut grass on. I'm hoping anyway. I think the grass will grow back. I'll be in trouble if I cut it and it doesn't grow back. All right, let's see if I can get through this spot right here. Yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. Oh, I forgot to look, see what this was. Wheat. Tis wheat. All right, now we can get ready to cut this one. Whoops. Let's go get rid of our barley. It's a very pretty map. I like the map. I like the way it looks and and everything. It's just a matter of getting used to it being so small because I'm used to, you know, huge farms where there's plenty of open land and just a matter of acclimating to the uh, surroundings. I'm going to store this stuff. I'm not going to sell anything right away until I figure out what it is I'm going to need. Okay, I'm just going to park this thing on the side of the road here until we need it. Let me run down and get this guy and I'll show you what I might do. First of all, I need to find out. Let's see. Uh, that's the cow. That's the sheep. I got to figure out how to get to field number seven. Oh, field number six, I think, is the sheep pen, maybe. No, this is uh, cows. I got to get that thing off there. 
cows are going to try to eat it. Right? How did they not get out? Somebody left the gate open. wonder who that was. Who left the gate open? Okay, yeah, they can't get out now. Let's go see if we find a way to get to field number seven. Can I drive through here? Oh, I didn't know that. That makes it a lot easier. Okay, this is field number seven. Uh, that's the sheep field over there. Remember when I said this is a little cheaty? <laughs> That's what I meant. So I'm gonna cut the grass on here and then we're gonna plow this under. I don't know how far that's going. Oh geez. Yeah. Well now I can find out whether that's uh, whether that's gonna grow back or not. How far am I going? That other field. There is plenty of grass on on this farm. You shouldn't have any trouble getting grass. That there's no reason to keep these fields in grass. I could I could be growing crops here. Now that's not to say I can't make money on the grass, because I can always put it in the silage and sell it. You know what I mean? Alright, let's take this. How do I get in that other field? Was there another gate to that other field or can I drive through there? I might be able to drive through there. Because I'm going to do five, field 5 as well. We'll leave them the rest of that grass to eat. And those sheep are big. Okay, I'll, I'll set this here for now. We're going to get the... What is back here? Is there a piece of equipment in there? That's funny. It acts like there's a... A piece of equipment in there. Okay, now, uh, if I just drop this, this should be able to just plow the field, right? And no place else? Yeah, there we go. That's what I say. That's what I want to see. It knows where the field boundaries are. That's good. I wasn't surprised, really. I, I knew it'd be that way. I just, you just never know. I mean, what a mod author might do to the, to the field. The um, the dirt looks good. The texture, I like the texture. It looks like good cloddy dirt. You know, big dirt clods. Oh, I hope this tractor's got enough oomph to it. I think this is a new tractor for me. Is this one's got all the lights on it? Yeah. This is a new tractor. I just got this mod. 
it seems to be really well made. The details are great on it. Going downhill is easier than going uphill. Now, I had to tell you, had I not used that little lawnmower, for the next hour, I'd still be trying to cut this grass because I got one of those silly little lawn, those mowers that go on the back of a tractor that's very, very small, very slow. And I knew I was gonna be making this into a field and I didn't want to take all day doing it. Now, that lawnmower, you might think is a little cheaty, and it, and it is. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. But had I really wanted to cheat, I have a developer's mod that I could come on in here and just tell it to make the whole field whatever crop I wanted and make it ready to harvest and fully fertilize it from a click of a button. That would be cheating. Now the developer's mod has its purpose. It's you know it's made for testing and things like that, so that you can you know quickly put a crop in and change the field uh, to whatever you wanted to test something or other. Um, it's got many 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 different things to it for uh, developers, uh, but to do it in a in a you know in a video like this would be cheating. And I don't mean to do that. I love this plow. This plow is perfect for making fields because it's so easy to see where the lines are going to be. Some of those ones that are, like I've got a great big one, a great big one that I use on the big fields and stuff, the big farms. Um, it's too hard to tell where the edges are and everything. This is very easy to tell exactly where everything's at if you're making a field. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Just a, another reminder, if you're watching this, uh, I'm already gone for, the, for a week or so on vacation. On Thursday, I'll have the second version of this, the second episode. And we're going to finish that field in front of us there, finish the harvest up there, and get along with starting this map off. I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you then. Ta-ta for now.